What up, everybody, and welcome to another character guide video for One Piece Burning Blood. My name is Sivakiji, or Sivakoji, refer, and this is the Zone Game and Go. Today, we're going to be talking about the Allosaurus, which is basically Drake's Awakening Mode. Uh, technically speaking, this is actually his ultimate. When he goes through his Awakening Mode, he first actually just, well, goes through his Awakening. And then afterwards, you can press the uh, R3 button again, or whatever your button is, to actually do it again, do the Awakening, to go to his Allosaurus Mode. While he's in this mode, he's a giant type character, he has he takes armor damage, and he actually takes a lot more damage from certain attacks, like for instance, uh, Whitebeard's bring down the world, or uh, Whitebeard's Sea Quake or Blackbeard's Sea Quake. In this transformation, he has a decent speed range. He cannot jump. He doesn't have a special movement like Gear 4 Luffy or, Gekko, or Shadow Asgard Gets Mariah. Instead, he just has the three basic moves that all giant characters have. The first uh, move he has is Bull Rush, which is the attack button. If you press it by itself, he'll just go move in the direction in which he actually is going. He has like a little cinematic, so you know, that's kind of cool too. Now, when he's, he can actually go into certain different directions. Will not actually do like a little cinematic. And you can go left, right, whatever direction you deem fit. You can go basically in eight different directions when you're actually transformed like this. You're going to be seeing this a lot, guys. I only get 40 seconds to actually demonstrate his moves, and this awakening is... Whew, slow. So his next move, or his unique button, is called uh, Cleaving Blow? I think it's called Cleaving Bow. And so basically, it's like a tail whip. I call it tail whip. So when he does this tail whip, that's tremendous. Look, basically, let's talk about it for a second. Look how much damage he actually does as a character, though. Like, with the bull rush, does a decent amount of damage. And then, of course, you get the tail whip off. That's also a decent amount of damage. He does a tremendous amount of damage, despite, like, you know, a technical-based character not being known from doing single damage and hits really well. So his sec his third move here is the guard break. is going to be um, the bite. So when he actually performs this, he grabs the opponent, slashes him around, does a decent amount of damage, or well, I say decent, a tremendous amount of damage, but given the pluses, it's actually really deadly. Now, his Bull Rush works really well for tracking the opponent. Uh, Cleveland Blow is a uh, counter to um, sidestep, and Bite is basically the guard breaker. Now, because how slow this uh, transformation actually is, you're probably going to be relying more on the uh, Tail Whip or Cleveland Blow more, uh, simply because, oop, that's one move, simply because, um, these moves are kind of easy to dodge, really. So, look at the amount of chip damage that that tail whip actually does. Pretty decent. It's a decent amount of chip damage. Now, uh, with his uh, guard button, that, that a bite, the bite works really well on giant characters, especially when they're dodging certain angles. So, if you actually get your opponent to a certain spot on the map, and you actually do this uh, bite motion, if they try to actually um, sidestep, I believe, to the left at a, diff at a, at a certain time, they will get caught. Um, so generally, if you can get him in the wall and kind of like, you know, trick your opponent, you might be able to get him with this bite move, but you shouldn't rely on it really when you're actually uh, fighting against your opponent, simply because how slow it is and how your opponent pretty much going to play a mini game with you anyway. Now, when you're using Bull Rush, I, I will say use Bull Rush only if you feel like, you know, you're probably going to like get close to your opponent. Now, just like all other giant characters, their main weakness is the fact they're too slow. Um, so when you're going to be this character like Toshiro, or you're going to be this character like, let's say, Mihawk, characters with those special movements can get away from you really quickly. But if you manage to take away that special movement and close the gap, you can pretty much keep them in a infinite chip uh, with your Cleveland Blow, which you kind of want that to happen. You want to do that uh, Cleveland Blow chip, you want to just damage them tremendously. Now, if you're thinking that maybe you can stun a person and then use that bite here, um, no, I don't think any stun that you can possibly do will actually uh, stop this bite. Will actually, like, you know, come with this bite. So this is like one of those surprising things. Look at the range on it, too. It's not like a super swipe move. It's a, it's like a double chomp. So you can pretty much get the opponent if they try to jump really far, if they're doing a jump attack or something. You may be able to get them for a jump attack. Let's see that right here. They're doing a jump here. Okay, you can't. You can catch the jump, though. If they do jump, you will be able to catch it if you can time it. Okay, guys, so basically that's pretty much it for the uh, Lorosaurus uh, transformation for Drake. Now, I would say I recommend using this transformation only when you feel like your opponent's going to your, 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 opponent's going to your awakening uh, to avoid ultimates, or perhaps go into it when you feel like you have a chance. Don't try to go into it as a last resort, because it doesn't really work that well with that. Now, Gek Mariah and Sengoku and Gear 4 Luffy can go into their awakening when they're getting hit to cause like a little burst. I don't really recommend that for, for Drake, simply because a lot of his moves are really slow, and by doing so you won't be able to counter your opponent like even using uh, your bull rush it's just so slow uh, you will not be able to catch your opponent if they're doing certain moves i mean if, if like if white beard is doing bring down the world and you transform uh, you might end up killing yourself rather than actually attacking him so be careful when playing this character 